Hi everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, I will continue the problems on tablet data interpretation. See the information which is provided. First of all, uh, the information is about the sales of five companies, the sales of five companies across uh, seven years. Here five company names, uh, this is one ZPY, this is two Z, uh, GB, SOL, CTI and uh, fifth one is TX. Here total values are also provided. Here total values are also provided horizontally and also vertically. Horizontally and uh, here this uh, years are 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92. These are the seven different years uh, and uh, the sales are given in terms of thousands. Each and every value in terms of thousands. So you need to keep uh, three zeros at the end of uh, each and every value in the table. Now, if you look at the values, uh, here the total values are given. Suppose if the question paper wants to give in a simplest manner, he will give the total value or otherwise he will not mention the horizontal and vertical total values. We need to calculate manually. That is based on the paper. Here, sometimes he will mention in the question paper, uh, he will mention in the table, sometimes uh, he will not mention in the table. So, we must be in a position to calculate all the values as well. Okay. Now, look at the first question which is provided. In the year 1988, in the year 1988, how many companies have more than average sales per company in that year? Here, first of all, uh, in 1988, we need to calculate the average. As we all know that average is equal to sum of observations, sum of observations divided by number of observations. Average is equal to what? Sum of observations by number of observations. In 1998 average, 1990, sorry, 1988 average, which is equal to, what is the total sum in 1988? Here total sum is already given in the table. In case if the value is not provided, you need to calculate all these values manually. You need to calculate all these five values manually. But here, total value is given. So, you can directly write down the total value, triple five. And uh, each and every value is in terms of thousand. So, you need to take the three zeros at the end. Divided by and uh, number of years. Not number of years, number of companies. Total how many companies we have? Five companies. So, the number of observations are and your answer is uh, triple one triple zero triple one triple zero so just leave these three zeros uh, for the time being why because uh, we are not calculating the exact value we are not we are calculating only how many companies have uh, more than the average here the average is uh, triple one average of all these values uh, triple one how many companies have more than triple one sales? See here. First, uh, ZPY. ZPY company is having 117. That is more than triple one. And uh, second company, that is GB. GB is also having more than uh, triple one, 125. And next, uh, SOL. SOL is having only 105. We should not count this one. CTI that is only 87 that is less than triple one and next uh, last one is tax not tax TX TX uh, is having 121 which is also more than triple one therefore total how many companies are having more than triple one more than average that is uh, three companies option C is the right answer three companies are having the uh, values which are more than the average sales of uh, company per company that is option c second question the company gb that is second company company gb which of the following is the difference between which of the following is the difference between sales in 1987 and that in 1990 for the company gb 1987 this is the value whereas 1990 
1990 the value is uh, 127 the value is 127 now you need to calculate uh, now you need to calculate the difference uh, difference between those two here 1987 company gb the value is uh, triple uh, 116 triple zero and uh, same company gb in the year 1990 the value is 127 triple zero now triple zero is common when you are calculating the difference when you are calculating the difference difference is equal to 127 triple zero minus 116 triple zero that is equal to triple zero is common and next uh, 7 minus 6 1 2 minus 1 1 1 minus 1 0 Therefore, the required difference is equal to 11,000. 11,000 is the required answer. Option A. Third question. The total sales of five companies in 1988 and 1989. 1988 total, 1989 total, 1988 and 89 together. So, 1988 and 1989 1989 these are the two years which we are talking about and the total sales uh, in these two one is triple five and uh, another one is uh, double five three now you can add these two here the units place is eight and uh, after that five plus five ten and next uh, five plus five ten plus one eleven eleven not eight total sales in these two years that is 1108 that particular value are approximately what percent of uh, that in last two years of the given years last two years in the sense uh, 91 and 92 91 and 92 1991 and 1992 these are the two years which we are talking about and the total values uh, 1991 total value 642 Whereas 1992 total value 678. Add these two. 8 plus 2, 10. And next, uh, five, uh, 4 plus 1, 5. 5 plus 7. 5 plus 7, 12. And next, uh, 6 plus 6. Uh, oh, here it is. Uh, 6 plus 6, 12 plus 1, 13. 13, 20. 13, 20. And uh, this value is uh, 11, not 8. Now the question is... Uh, this 1108 is what percentage of 1320 approximately. We don't want the exact value. When you are calculating the approximate percentage, when you are calculating approximate percentage, directly you can take like this. Here, the actual process is 1108 divided by 1320. And you are calculating percentage into 100 percentage symbol. That is a common thing, right? Now, when you are calculating the approximate value, Instead of taking this uh, 1108, I will take this value as 1110. Why? Because uh, 1110 and also. No, uh, if you take 1110 uh, or else uh, uh, better to take uh, um, 11 multiple. Instead of taking uh, 1108, uh, better to take uh, 1100. Better to take 1100. Why? Because. Uh, Denominator 132 that is cancelled with 11 table. So, numerator also 11 multiple I will take. Or else, uh, instead of uh, double one double zero, you can also take double one double one. That also gives the same result. 1320 into 100. Right? Here, 101. And next, here it is uh, 11, 12, sir. And next, 0. 0, 0 cancel. Now you can take this value as 1010 divided by 12. 1010 divided by 12 which is equal to you can cancel with 2 table. 2, 6 times. And next uh, 2, 5, sir, 0, 5. 5 not 5 by 6. Uh, 6, 8 times. 48. 6, 8, sir, 48. Uh, still 2 will be there. 25. 25 means uh, 6, uh, 4 times, 6, 4 times, 84 point something. Here it is, 84 point something, approximately 84 percentage. We have an option, uh, 
with 84 percentage that is approximate value as 84 percentage no need of taking the exact value if you take the exact value it will be definitely time taking process always try to um, uh, reduce the calculation part okay here the answer is 84 percentage instead of taking 1108 i am taking a double one double one or else uh, you can also take like this uh, double one double zero here also you will get approximate value as uh, 84 okay next one how many companies did the sales increase every year from that of the previous year? Here, for how many companies the sales are increases every year? Once look at the first company, JetPY. Here, in for, for JetPY, starting with 86 to 87, increases. Here also increases. Here also increases. 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 So, ZPY that is true every year the sales are increases and next second company GB from here to year first year increases second year increases but third year that is not increases that is decreases so you should not count this particular company why because we want uh, in a sales are increment every year not a uh, uh, for uh, some uh, some particular number of years we want the increment for each and every year and the third year uh, third company sol look at sol here first value itself that is decreases you should not count sol as well and next uh, fourth company cti here it is uh, increases again it is uh, decreases you should not count uh, cti cancel this one and finally tx final company tx here the first value is itself uh, decreases so you should not count that one so how many values uh, how many companies are there uh, which are increases uh, uh, every year that is only one company jet py option b is the right answer option b last question in this session in which year in which year did SOL register the highest percentage increase in its sales when compared to that in a previous year? When compared to that of previous year, which year is having the highest percentage increment? So, as we are talking about a SOL company, when you are comparing the, uh, when you are taking the highest percentage increment, Percentage increment is always starts with the second year onwards. So, you can start with 1987. 1987 is also not at all required. Why? Because 86 to 87, there is no increment. There is a decrement. No need of taking 87. Now, you can start with 88. 1988. I will write all the values. 1989, 1990, 1991. And uh, 1992. These are the values. First, we'll start with 1988. In 1988, as comparing with previous value, 84. Percentage increment. How can we calculate percentage increment? Difference between those two. Difference is 21 divided by previous year value. That is 84. Next, coming to 89. 89, as comparing with previous year, difference is 10. And denominator value is previous year. That is 105. And next, uh, 1990. 1990, this is 165. As compared to previous year, difference between these two, 165 and 115, difference is 50. Divided by previous year value, 115. And next, 91. This is 142. As comparing with previous year, this is decreases. So, there is no need of taking 91 as well. 92. Here, in 92, value is increases as comparing with previous year. Difference is 8 divided by 142. Divided by 142. Now, among all these uh, four values, which one is highest? That we need to find out. Here, if you observe carefully, this is 10 by 105. It means uh, 1 by 10.5. 1 by 
10.5 and this is uh, 1 by 1 and next uh, here numerator is 1. I am taking all numerators as uh, 1 so that I will get the answer in a quick, uh, quick session. Here this is 1 times 8, 62. 62 means uh, that is uh, uh, 7 times, 7 times, 1 by 17 point something. And next uh, here. 21, 4 is 84, 1 by 4. And next, here it is 1 time and this is 2 point something. 2 point something, here 15 will be there, 150 means 3 times, 2.3. Now the values are 1 by 4, 1 by 10.5, 1 by 2.3 and 1 by 17 point something. So, if you observe carefully, all numerators are equal to 1. If all numerators are equal, then compare the denominators. If denominator value is uh, less, if denominator is less, then that fraction is highest. If denominator is less, that particular fraction is uh, highest. Fraction will be highest. Then denominator is uh, lowest for which value? This is the lowest value, 2.3. Therefore, highest fraction is uh, 1990. Highest fraction is uh, in the year 1990. Highest percentage increment. Highest percentage increment uh, as compared to previous year for the company SOL. That is in the year 1990. Option C is the right answer for this question. Guys, uh, Whenever you are solving the problems related to this model, percentage increment or percentage decrement, uh, if you want to compare the values like this, uh, equal all the numerators or else equal all the denominators, uh, so that you will get the answer in a quick manner. If, if all numerators are equal, for denominator is less, for denominator is less values, uh, that is the highest fraction. Now, denominator is less for this one. So, this is the first highest and this is the second highest, this is third highest and this is fourth highest. Okay. This is the order. Okay. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the session. Uh, in the coming sessions, we will discuss a uh, few more interesting uh, problems in uh, tablet data and inflation. Thank you. Thanks for watching.